Welcome to the, another Loot the Locksmith video. Today I'm going to show you how to take out one of these Whitco Leica screen doors, out of these sliding doors. Very, very simple. First of all, first thing you want to do is grab a Phillips head screwdriver. It's a number two point. And first, one, first thing you want to do is take out this screw right here, turning anti-clockwise, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, as everyone should know. And you want to come around to the other side. There's another screw right there. Again, just take the screw out, nice and easy. Might want to hold on to both handles because in case they fall off. There you go, that's that done. Take out the other screw. Now both handles just simply come straight out like that. Just take this key out. Handle comes off nice and easy. No problem. Alright, so don't forget the key. Need that key. We'll keep that key there for later. That will come in, in um, that will matter later on. So the first thing you want to do is undo the top screw. Like that. As you can see, this is the what this is the reason why we're replacing this lock. This tab is actually snapped off. It's a very very common problem. And not very there's the only thing you can do to fix that is to replace the whole lock. And then you want to do is take the, un the screw up from the underneath there. Again, nice and easy. So this is the most difficult part of the job, is taking the cylinder out of the lock. Now what people don't realise is that you there's a little trick to it. You need to insert your screwdriver in here, push in, and that will trigger this, this uh, latch here. And then you're, you want to lock it. Turn it all the way to the to the side. Undo this one screw, cylinder screw. This is a screw that actually holds the cylinder in. Undo that. There you go. Here's the cylinder. And there you go. Can take the whole lock out. All right, we've shown you how to take the lock out of the screen door now. If there's any more comments or any more questions, please leave it on the comments below. If you'd like to get in contact with me, please click on the link below as well. Thank you.